Ambassador of the Islamic Republic of Iran, H. E. Mr. Reza Amiri Mogadam, called on Air Chief Marshal Zahir Ahmed Baber Sadu, Chief of the Air Staff, Pakistan Air Force. During the meeting, Air Chief Marshal Zahir Ahmed Baber Sadu elaborated Pakistan Air Force's strategic vision, emphasizing its transformation into a next generation Air Force. The Air Chief reiterated PAF's unwavering commitment to fostering bilateral cooperation, specifically through the provision of tactical level training to Iranian aircrew by experienced PAF personnel. The Iranian ambassador praised Pakistan Air Force for its strides in indigenization and lauded the professionalism of PAF personnel. He expressed his admiration for PAF's progress and pledged to play his role in further strengthening the bilateral military relationship, particularly in the areas of training and aerospace cooperation. The Iranian dignitary also commended PAF's next-generation training program and expressed deep interest in expanding cooperation regarding cross-training on the Super Mushak aircraft. Highlighting the potential for future collaboration in tactical level training of air and ground crew, the Iranian ambassador expressed his interest in exploring avenues of joint operational exercises between air forces of both the countries with keen interest in participating in the upcoming international exercise Indus Shield 2024. Iran began to acquire Soviet fighters in 1990 to 1991, when it became a leading client for the Su-24M strike fighter and MiG-29 medium-weight multi-role fighter purchasing one and two squadrons of each respectively. In parallel to the MiG-29, Iran also showed interest in acquiring the higher-end MiG-31 interceptor, the direct predecessor of which the MiG-25 had made a strong impression on the Iranian Air Force when operated by Iraq during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s. Iranian interest in the Su-35 and Su-30 fighters in the mid-2010s was reportedly also rebuffed by Moscow which offered to provide only the lower-end Su-27, although these reports were not confirmed. The outbreak of the Russian-Ukrainian war, however, which strengthened defense ties between Moscow and Tehran significantly, as well as the ability for Iran to barter for new fighters with exports of its own hardware that Russia now needed urgently, provided an opportunity for Russia to return to the Iranian market.